everyone. My name is Sharon King, and I am the founder and executive director of the Liddy LIGO Outreach and Advocacy Network. Uh, we are a group that focuses on the social health and mental health aspect of living with vitiligo. It can be very difficult uh, to feel like yourself. So we provide a lot of opportunities for uh, peer mentorship, for uh, expression, and just being yourself and learning how to be comfortable with yourself, whatever way that is, because we believe there's no one right way to heal. I want to talk to you guys about the benefits of being you in the workplace. It can be very difficult uh, to cope with living with vitiligo and the way it affects you and your job. Um, everyone is different, uh, but there are benefits to opening yourself up and being yourself at work. Uh, in my personal experience, I work uh, for a disabilities rights uh, and civil rights organization. Uh, so we work with uh, the disability community. Living with vitiligo, I consider myself a part of the disability community as my skin is unable uh, to produce melanin the way it's supposed to. Uh, I do a lot of work about the stigma of disability. So I often talk about uh, living with vitiligo in my outreach. Um, I apply a lot of my personal experience to my job um, and it really does make a difference. Being myself at work has opened up so many doors for me. I've met amazing people. I've been to amazing places. I can say that I spoke at the Boston Women's March alongside Congresswoman Ayanna Presley. I've been featured on a few campaigns, including the This Is Me campaign at the Massachusetts General Hospital. Another benefit of being you in the workplace is education. Um, I've educated a lot of people, um, and not just my coworkers, but the people that I interact with. Often people tell me they had no idea that millions of people live with vitiligo. A lot of people often tell me that they have a family member or a friend that lives with vitiligo, and they're very happy to see that someone is educating. My work is very intersectional. Um, so I'm you know, not only educating people about uh, vitiligo, but just people living with differences in general. And often that is a conversation starter. There are people living with differences and disabilities that can relate to the work that we do. My suggestion is take it slow, take it one day at a time, and it really does make a difference. Uh, people are more likely to open up to you. Um, and it just feels better to know that people understand or are trying to understand what it's like for a person that lives with vitiligo.